Well, hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well this Christmas week. And uh, today I got something that's kind of interesting for us guys that want to use Thunderbolt devices, but our motherboard doesn't have Thunderbolt. So, you grab one of these Gigabyte Titan Ridge cards. You can get them on eBay pretty cheap. And uh, you put it in, you hook it up, and look here, we got Thunderbolt working. And there's my Apollo Twin, okay, connected. So we have to use a couple of uh, SSDTs to get this to work, but this is on a MSI motherboard. So it doesn't have to be a gigabyte board when you use this USB header cable. Plugs into a USB port here on the board, plugs in the back of the card right here, and now all of a sudden we got Thunderbolt. How wonderful is that? And guess what? It's plug and play. So watch this, I'm gonna unplug it. Sorry about the glare. So I'm gonna unplug it, okay? Now I'm gonna plug it back in. And there you go, reconnects. So uh, I'll show you real quick here. We'll, we'll go in and I'll show you what you have to do, but you got to have a USB header port on your motherboard, which 99% of all motherboards do, okay? And then you plug it into there, you plug it into a PCIe slot, and then we load some, uh, some SSDTs to get hot plug to work, okay? Let me show you real quick. Okay, guys, uh, hold on for one second because... I've got a sponsor now, and it's keysfan.com. These guys got in touch with me and wanted me to partner with them to show you the best prices on CD keys, you know, Microsoft Windows, Office, and other software programs that you can get at a huge discount, okay? So, um... Let me take you over here to their sale page on this web, web page here. It'll be in the description below. Use this coupon code to get the Technoli discount. 62% off Microsoft Office. Can you believe this? Okay, so you can get Office for 27 bucks, And this is all legal OEM keys, okay? They have 24-7 customer support and lifetime after sales support. So it's a great opportunity to renew your operating system, get rid of that activate Windows image on your desktop for cheap money. Look at this, $8 for a Windows 10 key. Uh, what do we got? Windows 11 for 13 bucks. Um, and if you need more keys, here's five Windows 10 keys for $35. So. They've got everything here, and they've got really good prices. I've seen a lot of these companies online where they sell CD keys, and uh, these guys by far have the best price, and they're really good to deal with. I've dealt with them, and uh, easy to purchase. So don't forget to use the coupon code VDE50 for Windows, and VDE62 for Microsoft Office 2021. All right? All right. Thanks so much, Keys fans, and let's get back in the video. Okay, guys, so here we are. This is the Thunderbolt 3 card that you just saw. And then, uh, then we have over here the Asus card that works as well. So you would think because this says Asus or this one says, you know, Gigabyte, 
that it's only going to work with a Gigabyte or Asus motherboard, and that's not true. It comes with, let me see if I can show you here. Yeah, right here. So it comes with a USB 2 cable right here. So you plug this, you know, one end of this into your motherboard USB 2 header, and then you plug the other one in the back of the card. All right. Now these other cables like this one right here, this is made for an Asus motherboard with a Thunderbolt header. So um, they come with those cables, but this is all we need to plug it into any motherboard and a PCIe slot. So uh, you can pick these things up. If for those who already have these, you know, this will work. And for those who want to buy a card, I think uh, I think I've seen these for 120 bucks on Amazon somewhere else. So um, they are a little bit cheaper because if you go on eBay, you know they're trying to gouge people for the uh, gigabyte one. So if we type in GC Titan Ridge, yeah, hundred and there 159 bucks um so you'll probably just buy the the uh there's one there that's a good deal right there 120 bucks so if you have one of these or you want to pick up one of these or you just want to get the thunderbolt 4 version either one i have tested and they work with the method i'm about to show you so when you have these cards in there you can hook up a Thunderbolt device, plug it in to the Thunderbolt card once it's hooked up to the motherboard, and turn have it make sure that that device is turned on. And then you turn on your PC, and it should shake hands with it when it's doing the boot process. And, you know, it'll come up, and then you'll be able to see your Thunderbolt device like here. Um, and if we go over to about this Mac and more info, uh, this is where I'm going to show you where that Thunderbolt shows up. So you would think, oh, what's well, going to show up under Thunderbolt? No, it doesn't because the firmware Mac OS doesn't understand what's going on. But if you go over here to PCI, there is our card. Okay, this is where you're going. This is where you're going to see it. So uh, there's our Universal Audio um, Apollo Twin X Duo plugged in, turned on, and it's working. But for us to get hot plug, we want to go ahead and add a couple of SSDTs. So let's go over to this website. This is called Hack in Drum. Okay just click here and what you want to do is click the down arrow and go to this area right here now I'm using a 14 gen you know I'm using the MSI Pro Z790 so I'm going to use this platform because this gives us gives us the correct address which is right here, RP05. So this is the one we want to use. And so what you want to do is click download. And there it is. It's downloaded the correct SSDT for this series of motherboard, which would be the Z690 and Z790s for these cards to work. We're also going to need one other text, which uh, I can put on my website for you guys because sometimes it's not that easy to find. But let me show you where we're going to put those. So I'm going to go show you my config.plist and, and my EFI. So we're going to put them in the EFI. Partition, EFI, OC, ACPI. 
So this is the other file that kind of accompanies this SSDT for the Thunderbolt to give us hot plug. So we need both of these in the ACPI folder. Then we make sure that we click plus here after we've installed them into that folder and we add them like this. We add them to our EFI in the config.p in the config.p list. We have to add them to the config.p list. If we don't have these added in here, these two and turned on, then we're not going to get hot plug. We save that, we reboot, and that's it. That's as simple as it is to get Thunderbolt working on just about any motherboard except one more item we have to do. Let's go into the BIOS on this board. Okay guys, here we are. So we want to press on MSI F7 to get to the advanced menu. So under settings, we're going to click here and system status, there's nothing in here that we need to change. Then we go to advanced. Alright, so in here under PCIe um, we just want to make sure that resize bar is disabled. Make sure that above 4G is enabled. Everything else is okay here. We'll go out. ACPI, nothing to mess with here. Integrated graphics, we can go ahead and ignore because we're using a graphics card for BGA detection and we'll go down here and everything is fine we've got the uh, audio controller turned on and the built-in Wi-Fi module turned on Thunderbolt this is where the magic happens so we want to make sure both of these are enabled and then come down here to discrete Thunderbolt configuration and enable GPIO filter and everything else just like you see it okay this if we don't have these settings turned on then our Thunderbolt card will not work alright and then USB configuration just enable both um, everything else right here BIOS CSM slash UEFI we want UEFI so just showing you some uh, Hackintosh settings and then under boot we want to turn off MSI fast boot and go ahead and turn off fast boot as well just to be safe when you're doing these and then save and exit and that is it guys so um, here we go we got a way to use or have Thunderbolt on a motherboard that doesn't have Thunderbolt so this is uh, great news for everybody that didn't know. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please like and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you on many, many more videos. All right, take care.